Hello, this is Heisenberg. Hi there, and this is G Forever. And we have another world exclusive review and unboxing of more Pacific Rim Uprising figures. This time it's the Deform Z, Deforms Chibi figures. Yes, yeah, the, basically the minifigures, cute little minifigures. Okay, so you're ready for the unboxing? Let's do it. Okay, so these are actually blind boxes. Ah, so, so we don't know we don't know what we, is what. Yeah, we won't know what we have here until we uh, open each one. All right, let's see. So the box of twelve looks like this. Comes with a, with a bigger box or like a smaller box within a box. No, yeah, yeah, here we are. So I'm gonna move, I think I'm gonna move behind the camera so we can zoom yeah. in on these. There we go, we're gonna get here. All right. They have these yeah, little flaps on the bottom. Sometimes you because that's one thing we might wanna to try to figure out. Sometimes you can ah. sort of guess, sometimes you can guess what you're gonna get. We have Saber Athena. There we go. She looks pretty neat. So this is her with the swords. So it looks yeah, like yeah. no articulation. They're solid, stiff figures. Okay, yeah, which is not unusual for a chibi. Yep. Right at three inches, it looks like. Yep. Yep, looks like it. Perfect. Oh yeah, so she does have those wings. She does. Yeah, pretty cool, um, you know, pretty cool pose. All right. So we got another one. I got another one. This is a this is a pretty cool one. I took a peek already. So is it heavy? Is it a heavy box or a light box? It's a heavier box. Heavier yeah. box. But yeah. it's not too heavy. They're all pretty light. Um, so yeah, if you feel something a little heavier, a little chunkier, you may get Raijin. There he is. Yeah. Yay. Look at this. There he is. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah look at good. that. A lot look of at, color. Look at all the color. I love it. Yeah, it actually it looks. Uh, I like how the um, the contrast of the color matches with the movie. I think it's a little better than the um, than the Bandai figure that yeah. we got. Yeah, you can do a slow spin on them. Yep. So there's a lot of color okay. contrast. Okay, so move move your hands away from it. Sorry. Minute. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can even see I'll all the detail that. in the back. There's all, yeah, yeah, there's a lot going on with the back there too. Yeah. Very neat. Yeah, even for such a small figure, like you have all the different paint, like even like the split between the the tail, I guess. Um, there's like a pink color. Um, little blue highlights. You know, it's really, really nicely done. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So how, how tall is he? How tall he is here? Yeah, right, right, right at three inches, right yeah. on the dot. Yeah. Diamond Select is uh, nailing it. So how it, about this box you're opening up? Is that a heavier box or a lighter box? It does feel a little heavy. Let's find out. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, it's it's, the, uh, it's, it's a the uh, mystery figure. The special mystery uh, yeah. Raijin. It is Raijin again. No additional paint, but uh, it's a clear figure. Yeah, translucent. Um, translucent right? blue. Um, you know, definitely makes you know add some color to your collection. Um, if you're if you're familiar with uh, Bandai or Marmot figures, they do a lot of uh, different color variations. Uh, yeah. What I like to do with my translucents, I like to put them in the like the on the windowsill. The windowsill, so that the light will shine uh, through them. Yeah. So yeah, so there's the painted one. Here's the clear one. Yep. So yeah, I can see them side by side. There they are. Oh yeah, yeah, I think if I uh, give it a choice, if I could only have one, I definitely would get the painted one. Because the painted one is like... Uh, yeah, it seems yeah, like... You can see it, so you can see it better. Yeah, you can see all the details much better. So we've got a heavy box or a light box there. Uh, this feels lighter, lighter than Raijin, but, oh, I'm, actually, it's another Raijin. <laughs> oh, another Raijin. I was wrong. Maybe we're just getting oh, used to they're being to generous. Them. Yeah, they're being generous with the Raijins. They so. are. Diamond Select Toys, uh, maybe at the end of November, we'll have a uh, full-size uh, 
Yeah, full-size kaiju, 12 inches long. Mm. So looking forward to that. So not the Raijin, but one of the other ones. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've shown it in uh, on display. I've shown it on display. Oh, oh there's another saber. Another saber of Fina. All right. Let's see if I can get this open. This one is fighting. Yeah, is this lighter or heavier? It feels lighter. Ah, we got Gypsy Avenger with the sword. Gypsy Avenger with the sword. So pretty neat. Oh yeah, looking good. Yeah. It's interesting because I, I, if I recall the, their larger figure, the colors are much more darker and deeper. Here's like the uh, profile pic, you can see the face. Here are the wings. Yeah, these are cute. Oh yeah, yeah, these are, especially for the three inches, they're nicely detailed. Yeah, they did an excellent job. Sword is pretty cool. All right, we're about halfway. We got a heavy box or a light box there? Feels <laughs> heavy. Could it be? Ah, I guessed it. Bracer Phoenix. Bracer. Oh, there we go. With the M19 Morning Star. So this is Bracer Phoenix at the uh, at the end of the movie. Yep. When they replaced one of the arms with Titan Redeemers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So you he's can got the you green, can tell the green Titan Redeemer's arm. Yeah, you yeah, can you can arm. see the green arm. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't remember if the arm was still green because they did. Yeah, I remember them like moving the whole arm. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think of that morning star there? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, it, it actually moves. Oh, the, oh this we have one movement. has articulation. Oh, yeah. There you go. This one has the weapons, the chest weapons, and the... Um, oh, yeah, he's got his chest weapons. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's looking good. Yeah, I like it. I wish um, that they make a, a larger figure. All right. Well, yeah, so there's the, yeah, there's the morning star. Yeah, well, you take a look there's at that. There's the chest. We'll get the next one open up. Let me spin it over this way here. Let's look at it from this angle. Oop. Let's see if I got him there. Yep, I got him. Okay, so what else do we have here? Next one is another Gypsy Avenger. Uh, this one is the uh, one of the, uh, the Gravity Slinger. Let's see them a little better. Oh yeah, yeah, that's pretty good looking. So the one with the gravity, like the gun arm, is looking towards the left side, whereas the one with the sword is looking towards the right. Yeah. Okay, what else do we have here? Alright. We have another Gypsy Avenger with the sword. All right, just two left. Who else? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So, so the one we don't have so far is the. Uh, is it a mystery figure? Is like yeah, is one of the mystery figures here. There we go. Bracer Phoenix duplicate. Bracer. Oops. Oh, okay. With the uh, Mace Morning Star again. Okay. So yeah, it looks like with the standard ones, when you buy twelve, it looks like you get two each. Yeah. Two each of the standard ones. So let's see if we'll be lucky enough to have. So we'll at see least if this gives chase. us the. Yeah, we'll see if this gives us the full set here. If not, we might have to uh, come back. Yeah, I might have to go to eBay. So that's one way. If you want one figure in particular, I think one way to do it is to you know, let somebody else open up the boxes, and then uh, you know, buy an open you know buy an open figure on eBay. All right. This is it. Uh oh. Just a standard Gypsy Avenger. Oh, we got the standard Gypsy Avenger. Okay, so we didn't get the one. We didn't uh, get the chase. Chase. So basically, the chase is sort of an unpainted, but because I saw it on display at New York Comic Con, the other chase is an unpainted uh, Gypsy Avenger. Mm. So actually, I think we're better off. I think we, I think we actually might be better off with the uh, with the standard ones anyway. That's good. But, I think the winner for me is the, the Raijin. But yeah, I think the standard Raijin, standard Raijin, I think is the most fun thing to have here. Yeah. 
the color is really nice and it's sort of uh, it's not a, yeah and it's nice and uh, uh, you know there's a nice detail to it yeah I mean even if you bring in the oh yeah the back looks really good too yeah. look at that look at the blue yeah bring it's, in the the big rye and you'll see that there's okay, so no let's, um, let's go back here so here's like yeah we're actually we're getting much more paint yeah. On our little uh, little mini Raijin yeah. compared to the full size. So on, so uh, what Chief Forever has there in his hand is the uh, Bandai, the you know, the Bandai action figure uh, Raijin, uh, which happened to have. But yeah, the Bandai is just one is only one paint, one color paint on the back. Yep, very flat. quite a difference. Yeah, definitely more. Um, getting more, more yeah, colors on the You're getting a lot more. Yeah, you're actually getting a lot more paint on the uh, minifigure here. Yeah. So the action figure, I think the action figure has like a pretty cool, yeah, it's like it's, uh, yeah, it's fun looking because it's being full sized and all. Yep. But, but I think the pose on the minifigure is actually, you know, cooler looking. The tail is kind of uh, curved up. The yeah, arms okay, are... Yeah, let's see the tail. Yeah, yeah, we got the, yeah, I think the, yeah, the arms are interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got a nice curl to the tail there. You also see there's like a, you know, it looks like there's a different color. Yeah, there's even a different the color like in the top pink, of the tail. There's like a pink going down the uh, middle. Yeah, I think we definitely have a winner here. Yeah. Like if you're, and what's nice is, now now let's see if you can figure out which is heaviest. So like pick up the Raijin and the Bracer Phoenix there. So I think those are the two heavy figures, right? Yeah, I would act actually Bracer is heavier. Oh yeah, so like if you see a box of 12. Yeah. So yeah, so if you see a box of 12 and you actually get to pick them up, it's like the heaviest one is probably Bracer Phoenix. Yep. And then the next heaviest one is the Raijin. Raijin. So if you wanted to try to guess, yeah, guess which one to buy. Yeah, down. I'm just looking at the minifigure. Even the tongue and the mouth, like the color is, there's much more, you know, yeah, more right? detail on the little mm -hmm. one. This yeah. one, the mouth is just all red. Whereas this yeah, one, you yeah, have like yeah. the blue and then the, the tongue is like yeah, a with the shade full of... Size, yeah, the full size Bandai, we're mostly just getting brown and red with a little yeah, blue. A little bit of blue. And then with the minifigure, yeah, we're getting so much more uh, variety of color. Definitely. Yeah, I love how like uh, in like behind the arms, the the the, the legs and the uh, the back of the crest, you know, they they do all that light shading of uh, yeah, like the yellow, pink. So it there makes, just nothing on the on the. Yeah, it makes me size. hope that uh, Diamond Select Toys will do a full sized, yeah. full sized Raijin. So you can see these minifigures are lighter. Yeah. 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 The color is definitely lighter. The for Saber Athena though. Oh, Saber Athena is darker. It's darker. Yeah, she's a darker red. So yeah, Gypsy Avenger is a lighter blue. Saber Athena is a deeper red. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the full size uh, Morning Star is like more detailed. More detailed. The the it's you know definitely da been used and damaged. Yeah, you see all damaged. the. The spikes are not uh, not straight. They're uh, some of them are bent. Yeah, so um, this is definitely, definitely simpler. Definitely cool looking. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that one spins. This one spins. Too. This one spins. So I think it's neat. But yeah, yeah, definitely the mini one is uh, is understandably simpler. Yes. Um, definitely looking at the the, the full size uh, Bracer Phoenix. There's more of the metallic look to it. All right, but now please, what we'd like you to do is please, yeah, please subscribe. subscribe. Maybe hit like yes. to our videos. Yes, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we're going to have more, yeah, we're going to have more and more, more figures, fun figures in the future. Definitely. Remember, Godzilla 2019. Yeah, coming soon. Is on its way, so we're watching. We're watching yeah, for... keeping uh, an eye out. Yeah, yeah, we're watching for uh, news about the movie and, uh, and about the toys. This is Heisenberg. And G Forever, hoping you enjoy the new... Pacific Rim uh, Uprising deforms figures.